Now, next thing, the Expendables, of course. The motherfucking Expendables! I'm glad that Sylvester Stallone is going along with this because he is the only person in this, maybe in this world, who kind of sees, who's not blind, who and sees what's going on in Hollywood today. That's one of the reasons why he's doing the experiment because he knows what's going on. Because he is, he said in his own words that the action shot has gone to shit that's going soft. And he said that this movie is a homecoming of tough guys. Because he sees what's going on. He's the only one who sees what's going on. Yeah, people are going to bash him for it. But let them. He's, he's going to show them off anyway. What the fuck do they know? I'm glad that Stallone is, is going along with it because he's bringing all the old school action guys back. He's got and the coolest, other cool thing is about this. He's putting the old school with the new school, new school action heroes like Jason Statham uh, himself, Jason Statham, Jet Li, Dolph Lundgren. When was the last time we saw Dolph Lundgren in a movie? When was the last time we saw him in that? For a long, we haven't seen him in the big screen for a long ass time. And a cameo appearance by Bruce Willis and Schwarzenegger? I mean, come on! This is every old school action action movie fan's dream. And I know they're going to get bashed on for, but fuck them. Fuck the, the trolls and the fucking Hollywood producers. What the fuck do they know? Fuck you, Hollywood. You fuck your fucking producers. Think you fucking know everything. If it was for those guys, the old school guys, you wouldn't have a job in fucking Hollywood today. They got you where you are because you watch their movies and you want and you always thought dreamed about working with them one day and you then you then you get there you shit on them. You better go you better go back and rethink your motherfucking history, all right? If it wasn't for those old school guys, you wouldn't be having be having that big house, living in that big ass house with your big ass cars and your big ass swimming pools right now if it wasn't for those guys. They, they started the action job. They put it on the map. You fucking hypocrites just, just abandoning them like that. Who the fuck do you think you are? All you fucking trolls out there, too. You better go back and learn your fucking history. Because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be watching movies right now. With some of these, some, with some of them now today, suck. They suck cock. Simple as that. But the Expendables, this is a dream come true. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this. I believe that this movie is going to do for the action genre what Scream did for the horror genre. He's going to put it back on the map. Rambo, Rambo 4 was close. But I believe the Expendables is going to take it, take it much higher. I hope it will. It will. It will. You can bet on that. Simple as that. <laughs> you know, I just hope... Whatever the deal is, whatever the deal is, I just hope some action films will be made by these old school guys. I, for example, from what I heard, that Bruce Willis would love to do another Die Hard. I don't know if they will do one, but they, there's a good chance someday in the future they will make a fifth Die Hard. I'm with it. I'm down with that. I'm ready for another Die Hard if they ever make one. I'll see it in theaters. Because it's Bruce fucking Willis. Jar motherfucking John McClane. And hell, he could be... If Watch. Years later, by the time they'll get to another Die Hard, he'll be like in his early or mid-60s. You know what? I don't care. I'll still see it. As long as he still can do what he can do, I'm with it. As long as he's still John McClane. Just... Bring it on. And the other thing that aggravates me about this whole situation. Out of the clear blue sky, ever since Bruce Willis' new movie, Surrogates, came out, and it, didn't, it wasn't really successful, the media all of a sudden came out of the, came out of the clear blue motherfucking sky talking about... About his about how his career is over because he's old, just because of one movie. And he made a comeback in the action genre 
just two years ago with Live Free or Die Hard, the fourth Die Hard movie, and now he, and when he does an action movie after that, automatically, when the movie didn't do very well, automatically they say, oh, all oh, the, oh, he, oh, he's too old for this. He's, he's washed up. What? This is the kind of shit that really fucking aggravates me. It pisses me off. If the I, didn't, I haven't seen Surrogates, I'm really I'm looking forward to it. I heard mixed reviews about it. If the movie failed, it wasn't Bruce Willis's fault. It's fucking pathetic. It pisses me off. Fucking Hollywood these days. They have no respect for any for anybody for anybody who's been, who's who who made how, what Hollywood was in the first fucking place. It pisses me off. It was for those those people back then. You wouldn't you you people in Hollywood wouldn't have that big house with your big swimming pools and your big and your big ass sports cars right now. Fucking hypocrites. Hell, these guys could be fucking over a hundred years old, and I still watch their movies. Hell, I'll be surprised as hell if you get. Sylvester Stallone at the age of 99 going over going on a hundred years and him still doing the shit he does now is just still going bah, like Argh! or or Jim! I'd still watch him as long as he still got it and I'm not the guy kind of guy who goes uh, he's too old he should retire I'm not that guy when it's the right time for them to retire, they'll let us know when it's time to retire. And I know when it's time for those guys to take... And I know when it's time for those old school action stories that you call old and can't do it no more kind of guys. I'll let myself know when it's time for them to retire when... See, don't, to me, there's no such thing as retire for these guys unless if there's a reason for it. So unless if they have gotten sick. Not like a cold or, you know. Like, say if one, one guy gets a deadly disease or something. Or whatever. Or it gets can't walk no more. Or whatever the case is. Then it's necessary to stop. Because you can only go so much further in life and... And what really pisses me off, I'm going to bring up this kid again that I was mentioning before. He said uh, he probably did another Rambo or whatever because he's going through a midlife crisis. I wanted to get in this kid's face like, dude, I know what midlife crisis is. I, I might not have it because I'm only 18 years old. And this is what I wanted to tell him. I might be 18 years old and, I don't, and I've never experienced midlife crisis, but... I'll tell you one goddamn thing, he ain't going through midlife crisis. He's just doing what he does and what he loves. I just don't get you. I don't know what your fucking deal is. Because you, this is my people like that should keep their fucking mouth shut and keep it to themselves. Because one day they're going to, they, 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 people like him are just politically incorrect. Let's just put it like that. It's just another know-it-all who thinks he knows everything. But he does not know all shit.